Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Good morning everyone, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. I know this is a different setting. I just got up this morning, I didn't plan to make a video. Um, when I was planning out my meals for the videos. But this morning I woke up and I told my husband, I think I wanna film breakfast this morning. And this is what we're gonna eat this morning. I'm gonna make for you the ultimate semi-home country breakfast skillet. And this is my way, okay? And what I have, it's some hash browns, potatoes. You can get any brand. I'm using what I had in the freezer, so this is what I had in the freezer. And I'm also gonna use some um, fully cooked meat lovers, um, pork sausage with bacon crumbles. And I have some fresh vegetables here. I have bell peppers, onions, and the orange um, bell peppers. And I'm gonna add some minced garlic with that. And once I put my potatoes and onions in the skillet, I'm gonna add some garlic powder, onion powder, a little seasoning salt, and some black pepper. And in my pan, I have um, some oil heating up, and I'm gonna add a half a stick of butter with that. And along with the um, breakfast skillet, we're gonna have some scrambled eggs with cheese, and this is what I have here, scrambled egg with cheese, okay? So let me turn my heat up a little bit so I can saute I want to saute the fresh vegetables with garlic first, just to get it a little translucent, and then I'm going to add the potatoes and the, um, the crumbles, sausage and bacon crumbles. What you can use is regular potatoes, but like I said, I didn't plan to do a breakfast video until the last minute. And I didn't have regular potatoes, so I just used the potatoes that I had in my freezer. So how, how are you guys doing this morning? It's morning where I am. It may be evening or afternoon where you are. I hope everything is well. And I want to welcome the new ones to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I would really appreciate it. And my, the ones that been with me from day one, thank you for coming back, which I always tell you, and I do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. You all just don't know. What do you cook for breakfast? Put in the comments the type of breakfast that you like to eat. get this pan heated up y'all you don't have to use butter you don't have to use the, as much oil as I did but you all know me it, it brings lots of flavor to the food but if you want it um, if you don't want it a little oil in it. You can always use um, just some Pam spray or something like that. Or use a non-stick pan. This is a non-stick frying skillet that I have, but I like to add oil and butter for flavor. And I didn't measure anything um, because I'm, I don't usually measure 
um, when I'm just cooking on top of the stove, if I'm baking something, I use the exact science. I always measure when I bake. Let's add the garlic powder. I mean the mixed garlic. Always tailor your meals that you cook to your taste. Let this cook down for a few seconds and then I'm going to add the potatoes. I never used this particular brand before, but this is what they had when my husband went to the commissary weeks ago. And this is what they had, so this is what I'm going to use. Right now, the onions are, are um, looking translucent, and the bell, pepper, bell peppers, they're um, softening up, so I'm going to go ahead and add the hash brown potatoes. That was about a half a bag. And I'm going to go ahead on and add my dry ingredients. Some garlic. Even though I have minced garlic, but I just like to add garlic and um, onion powder for extra flavor. This is the onion powder. This seasoning salt. Just gonna mix it just a little bit. I'm not gonna add the meat until near the end because it's fully cooked. I'm going to let this cook down just a little bit and I will come back. We'll be right back y'all. Alright family, we are back and this is what the potatoes, onions and bell peppers look like so far. And you know as I always forget the black pepper, so I added the black pepper. Um, when I was off camera, hubby reminded me. I don't know what it is about black pepper. I keep forgetting it. I know usually I forget when I use a lot of cavenders, but I'm not using the cavender seasoning in this breakfast, but somehow I forget. But anyway, we're at the point now where I want to add the um, fully cooked sausage and bacon crumbles. And um, you pretty much have to warm it up, that's all. But this is a quick and easy semi-homemade breakfast. This is your ultimate semi-homemade country breakfast skillet. This is the way I'm making mine this morning, but you Make yours the way you like it. And tailor it to your family taste. I'm going to let this finish heating up. Because everything is pretty much done. But what I need to do is make some scrambled egg and cheese and some toast. And I'm going to plate it up. And we will be right back. y'all we are back and what I'm going to do is beat up my eggs I have butter in this pan I have butter in this pan and letting it heat up just a little bit let me adjust my egg here 
And I'm just gonna do a simple scrambled egg and I'm gonna lay cheese uh, on top. This is the way we like ours. And most people knows how to scramble eggs, but I just wanted to um, show someone who does not know how to scramble eggs. And to me, there's no right and wrong way. To me. And we don't like black pepper and salt in our eggs, but most people do. You can add black pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder to your eggs. And I like well beaten eggs, y'all. This is what we like. Okay. My butter is heated up. This is simple. You can fancy your eggs up. You can put onions in it, however you like it. But this is the way hubby and I like to eat our eggs. You don't necessarily need high heat. Some people cook their eggs fast, which I do sometimes. Some people cook them on a low setting. But to me, like I said, there's no right or wrong way to cook your eggs. You don't want to cook them on the highest setting because you don't want to burn or scorch the egg because that taste is not pleasant, okay? But this is just the way I cook our eggs. Nothing fancy. I didn't even take it out this morning, so I'm gonna use this spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on and let the eggs finish cooking. And they are fluffy, y'all. off the heat. And I'm just using cheese slices. Yeah. And this is the breakfast skillet. This is the outcome. I'm gonna plate it up, but first I wanna give you all a little fun fact about me. My family and friends know this about me, but um, my subscribers don't know. This is just one of the fun facts about me. I love hot tea. This is not sponsored. It's not sponsored at all, y'all. But this is something that I wanted to share with you because I really, really, really love hot herbal teas or caffeinated teas. And there are two brands that I have found to have the smoothest teas ever. And I consider myself, I don't know if you would call it a tea enthusiast or a tea connoisseur, but I really love hot teas. And one of the brands that I came across that I really love, like I said, this is not sponsored, but if any of the um, representatives from the company T Forte is watching my video or Wakaya, 
um, y'all email me, get in touch with me, and we can work something out. But this is the brand Wakaya. This is the turmeric and ginger tea. This is some good stuff, y'all. This tea is a little pricey, and I don't think they sell them in the stores. I haven't seen them in the stores. And I know Amazon sells the Wakaya brand. I do know that because I have ordered um, tea from them before. This is so good and it's, and it's really good and it's beneficial um, for your health as well. And the next brand is Tea Forte. And I love this brand. I came across this brand I think about a year ago and I've been ordering teas from them ever since. And these, this particular one is the Singles. This is more like a sample packet with different types of teas just to sample it to see if, which one you really love. And I love them all, but my favorite is this one. That Harvest Apple Spice, which it came, the sample came in this box and I went and ordered the three ounce can as well. And this is what really got my attention to Tea Forte. This particular one was in a sample box and um, I like the packaging. The tea is delicious, but this packaging, it got my attention. But um, I just wanted to share this with you all. Just a little fun fact about me. I love hot teas, I love teapots, tea kettles, tea cups. I love everything tea. But that's just a little fun fact about me. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to share with you all something that I really love. But right now, I need to plate up our breakfast so we can eat. Actually, it's noon time now. We started about 11.30 and it's after 12. So this is more like a brunch. But um, let me plate it up and I'll be right back. Okay, family, we are back. And this is our breakfast. This is the ultimate semi-home country breakfast skillet. This is done my way. And it smells good and I know it's good. We're gonna sit down in a minute and um, eat, eat breakfast or brunch. I have my jelly here to put on my toast. I have some really nice fluffy eggs to go with this breakfast and buttery toast. Yum, yum. This is it right here. This is semi-homemade. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use regular potatoes, whichever potatoes you like. Um, but don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell and share my videos with everyone. And never forget, always stay humble and kind to everyone, even the ones in your household. But we're gonna eat this brunch and have a nice cup of tea. My husband don't drink tea or coffee, but I love it. And in the comments, let me know if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. Drink cold tea. Hubby say he drinks cold tea. Nice, nice. Tea. Yes, he does. He will drink um, sweet tea. No. But no. I like hot tea. No hot tea. For the most part. And I would eat it, I mean, I would drink it in the summertime on the hottest day. And it, it refreshes me for some reason, but I love it. But, anyways, y'all, I'm not going to start rambling like I always do. And I will catch you all on the next video. Thank you all for supporting me. I love you all and share my videos, y'all. I'll see you next time.